AH. Well, hey guys, they're here. And today, I'll be back. 4, 2, 2, 3. Upper deck AHL hockey featuring 10 cards per pack, 12 packs per box. Then you give a box of AHL, we should be expecting one autograph, one additional chase card, which can be a parallel insert or another autograph, one numbered base parallel, which can be exclusive for high gloss, 12 star rookie, so every pack, and 12 inserts, which is also every pack. And there's only four inserts in here, which are AHL all rookie team, AHL all stars, stars of tomorrow, and 10 Ds. But before we get into today's video, through the sponsor by Offside Cards, be sure to check out the Heat Pat Box, a premium hockey card subscription box featuring 10 sealed hobby packs, and keep an eye out for 1617 Series 1 and 1516 OPG Planet Pack. Also, be sure to check out the Hockey Packet, which is a $40 all-in monthly subscription product featuring 5 to 7 packs in which 2 are hot, featuring no MVP or score packs with randomly inserted 1516, 1617, and other premium packs. Be sure to use code Ziri, which is a $15 discount, to save $15, which is a $5 discount for the first three months so thank you outside cards for sponsoring today's video so ahl is obviously a set for the american hockey league it's a very straightforward set it's a 150 card base set it's exclusive to 100 high glass to 10 cards 101 to 150 are the star rookies should be getting one of those a pack and there's only four insert sets in here which do have different parallels there's red parallels to the inserts and gold to 25 for all four and our only hit cards are the autographs they're one per box base autos are 118 star rookies 136 and any insert autos are quite tough i think the easiest one yeah the easiest one is ahl all-stars at one in 400 so the insert autos are fairly tough but we should be getting at least one autograph in here now with typical years of ahl i see this as a preview for the 23 24 nhl rookie crop several key guys in here will have rookie cards in 23 24 product mainly for me there's a trio of very touted goalies in here yeah, jesper wallstead yaroslav askaroff and dustin wolf askaroff and wolf will have rookies in 23 24 as they've already debuted in the nhl wallstead hasn't debuted yet but i suspect you'll see some time with the wild next year all of which have autographs in here as well so that's cool simon edvinson has a star rookie in here touted red wings defensive prospect there second overall pick in 2022. Simon Nemec is also available in here. And just a bunch of familiar names in here. Luke Evangelista is another one in there. Played 24 games for the Preds. He will 100% have rookies in 23-24 product. But yeah, that's where the intrigue lies with AHL. Pretty much a preview for 23-24. But before I get you on, this box cost $80, which I don't agree with. I'm not sure why this product keeps creeping up. Should be like a $50 to $60 Canadian box. Like a $40 buck US box. But 80 is way too high for an AHL product. But let's check out AHL. Okay, AHL. 120 total cards. You get 10 cards per pack in here with 12 packs. Should be expected at least one autograph in here. We got Evanson, Wallstedt, and Maverick Bork on the pack there and on the box. So we shall see what we have in here. So here's the base. Very similar to years past. I can zoom it in there. We got 21, 22, 2021, and there's 22, 23. So keeping a very similar design there. Clean, solid design there. So there's Jacob Pro. There's a Graham Clark, Utica Comets, Joel Hofer on Springfield there. So a lot of these guys already have rookies like Hofer is 2021. Brett Sini is 18, 19, I believe. There's Matei Blumel who has young guns in 22, 23 extended. There's a star rookies of him. There's Maverick Bork, Stars of Tomorrow. And the picture there is actually the picture of the pack as well. So, and the box. But there goes Stars of Tomorrow, Maverick Bork. Simon Holmstrom, who has young as an extended, right? Sheldon Rempel, Austin Pagansky, and Riley Damiani. Okay, next up here, there's Andrew Podorowski, AHL ringer there. Obviously, Buddy's a really good hockey player. Probably can hang in the NHL, but I guess he's one of those guys where he's not quite versatile enough to be in the bottom six. I don't know. There you go. There's Podorowski, modern day Jason Krog, I would say. There's that. Zane McIntyre, UPL. Roby Yarventi there. Simon Nemich. There you go. Star rookie, second overall pick. 2022 there for the Devils. Looks like Luke Hughes will be a regular for the Devils next year. See if Nemich makes it for them. Perhaps. Really strong showing his first year in the AHL. First year in North America. So there's that. All-Stars, Jordan Spence. Another team that's making room for the young players. John Jersey's out. Off to Arizona, so. Jersey traded out Severson. But yeah, there's Spence. I suspect Bryant Clark and perhaps Spence as well. To be full-time guides for the Kings next year. There's Kane Korzak, Thomas Harley, Danila Klimovich, and Will Bitten. Like, some of these guys are already pretty much NHL regulars. So there's that. If not this past year, this upcoming year. Some of these guys are career AHOs, like Cooper Marodi. There's Jordan Spence again. Dustin Wolf. I'm actually quite excited to see him play for the Flames there. Has really good upside there. Wherever he's played, he's put up fantastic numbers, but there's Dustin Wolf. He's definitely on the smaller side for a goaltender there, but he looks to be really good, so there's that. There's Chaz Lucius. Star rookies there. Manitoba Moose. Michael Hutchinson. Tendies. See what happens with Hutchinson. Played some games for Columbus this past year. There's him on Henderson. Joel Hofer. There's an exclusive. Good name. 37-100 exclusives. I suspect Hofer will be the backup to Bennington next year for the Blues as they go through a retool. A lot of stuff up in the air for the Blues. We'll see what they do this year, but I suspect some big things are coming. There you go. Hover exclusives. I like that. There's Chris Wagner, Brendan Gaunt, Nick Robertson, and Jake Christians. So a bunch of familiar names in here. There's Connor Zary. And we've got Matt Shogard, Jan Yannick. So a lot of these guys have rookies within the past few years. Carson Mayer, Arshdeep Baines, star rookies there for the Abbotsford Canucks. Interesting there. He tore up the WHL there. 112 points. So the Canucks gave him a contract there, but Arshdeep Baines. I got 10 
Wendy's, E2 McAniemi, Billy Hey Nola, Chris Tierney, Calvin Pickard, and Garrett Pilo. All right, next up here, SDA, who's in the KHL now, Bryce Kindop, there's Wyatt Kalnuck, Alex Lyon. Obviously, it was a fairly large part of the Panthers playoff run there, including the Panthers making the playoffs. He had a strong showing there. William Eklund, star rookies. There's Eklund. Oh, AHL All-Stars, Dustin Wolf. I hope Wolf gets the full-time role the Flames next year. Do they move out? They got to make room for this guy. There's Jeffrey Vial there, Cole Schneider, Charles Houdon, and Matthew Phillips. Okay, next up here, there's Elliot Desnoyers, Nikita Kodiak, Lucas Dostal, Luke Evangelista. Played for the London OHL, tore it up. Strong showing for the Preds there towards the end of the year. He have young guys in 23-24. Xavier Borgo, star rookies, former first rounder there. There's a Bakersfield, star rookies of him. Hendy's Wallstedt, we have a gold card behind Wallstedt there, so it could be autographed. But Jordan Gross, Matthew Robertson, Riley Barber. That's a nice insert of Wallstedt there, but we got McAniemi. Is this sign? No, it's Aaron Dell. Dang, it's not McAniemi, it's Aaron Dell. Tendy's Gold, 6 of 25. There's our other chase cards. We're likely just getting one auto, which is fine, but there you go. Tendy's Aaron Dell. Okay. All right, next up here, Noel Gundler. We got Simon Ryfors, Matt Villalta, Lassie Thompson, Alexander Passion, star rookies. And we got something interesting here. Oh, Keith Kincaid. Tendy's. There's Keith Kincaid. Tendy's. There's Sam Poulin, Valerie Pustinen, Max Lajoie, and Jonas Rombier. All right, final pack in the middle. Then we'll get on to the right side. We got Mason Shaw, Jansen Harkins, Jonathan Berggren. Recently got a young gun extended. Boko Imama, Adam Willsby, star rookies. And we got stars of tomorrow, Nemich. And then we got Peltier, Legacy, Maltsev, Grant Hutton. Like 90% of these guys have had rookies within the past few years. So unless you're Zach Fucal, you had rookies in 15, 16. It's been a while, but. Or Seth Griffith, 14, 15. He had cards. Basically an AHL ringer there. So there's Aaron Dell, Akira Schmid. Obviously up with the Devils. See if he gets a full time role with the Devils next year. Uh, Laurent Dauphin. Real Marchenko. Star rookies. So there you go. One of the headliners for extended series. There's his star rookies in the AHL before he got called up and played like 20 minutes a night for Columbus. So there's that. A Charlotte Checkers goalie here. Matt Guzda. Hendies. K. Okay. So there's Guzda. Got Reedy. Oscar Steen. Sean Malone. And Zach Fucali. All right. We still need the autograph. We have three packs left. Is it here? I mean, I wouldn't mind being this guy on the back there. Raphael Harvey Pinard, which for whatever reason, he only has AHL autographs. When I looked up Harvey Pinard autos, he doesn't have any Habs autos. So. But there's Nick Patan, another AHL ringer. Uh, there's Julian Gauthier. Phil Tomasino should be regular for Nashville next year. Jesse Ullinen. Uh, Yuri Kulich, star rookies. Is it here? No. Okay, Lucas Cormier, stars of tomorrow. Brandon Biro, Arvid Soderbloom, and Logan Hutzko. So a lot of familiar names here. Dang. Two more packs here. Okay. Either that or I'm a freaking dork. Johnny Brodzinski, Cole Lind. It was very good for Cachel in their playoff run. Jack Drury is up with Carolina. Uh, Martin Furk, hardest shot. We got, oh, Drew Helson, star rookies. I'm pretty sure this has to be an autograph here, right? But Star Rookies Helson, Ar Hirose, Martin Kaut, Michael Asamont, who was up in the NHL more in the AHL this past year, and Justin Brazza, former North Bay Battalion. But uh, is this autographed? I hope it's autographed. AHL All Star. <laughs> I hope it's not autographed. It is not. Okay, good. Seth Griffith, uh, Drew Helson, Star Rookies there. But yeah, Seth Griffith, AHL All Stars. Okay, I gotta stop saying the word Seth because I'm struggling with it. But there's that. And a file pack should be autographed here. Hoping for a recognizable name. Hoping for a decent name. There's Jackson Cates, Mason Geertsen, Kyle Chris Cuolo, yeah, Grigory Merkulov, star rookies for Providence there. This has to be it. Ontario Rain, okay. Oh, it's right there. Dang it. It looks like a devil, but we got this up. Uh, Phoenix Copley, Tendies. It was quite good for LA this past year. Dorfayev, Weatherby, Ari Boulay, Tynan. Okay, well, it's this way. And it's also a devil 55. It's Geertsen. <laughs> Yeah, Mason Geertsen. That's kind of funny. Base item. Not too bad there. I'll take that. Geertsen plays a sandpaper game. That's pretty much what he is. Sandpaper depth there. Like, I'll take, I like that autograph there. So that concludes the box of AHL. Yeah, guys, there's a hobby box. 22-23 AHL. I mean, this box should probably be like 50, 60 bucks. 40 bucks US, but get the Geertsen auto. Wasn't all that bad, but the resale value of a lot of these aren't great. Especially when these guys get actual rookies like next year. But there's a Dell Gold Tendies at 25. Dustin Wolf All-Star insert there. So there is that. Whole for exclusive. All in all, not too bad. I enjoyed that. There's that. So yeah, stay tuned for more breaks to come. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.